first few decades of SAIC. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with the uh, history of the company, the uh, company was founded in 1969. Uh, in fiscal year 70, 1970, uh, the annual revenues were $243,000. By, by 1980, uh, the revenues were $150 million. Uh, and in, in the book, uh, there's a calculation that that represented a 90% compounded annual growth rate. By fiscal year 1990, the company was at $1 billion, uh, was uh, one of the largest employee-owned companies in the United States. Uh, by 1999, uh, $4.7 billion, uh, Fortune 500 list, uh, and then an IPO in 2006. Uh, with the current revenue rate exceeding eight billion. So looking at a history like that, I, I think there are, are a lot of things that we can learn uh, from the process. We're going to get into a discussion a little bit later about uh, this particular <coughs> business model, which is kind of unique. Well, the, the whole incentive plan that, uh, that Bob developed of uh, giving people ownership in the company and, re and rewarding them with ownership in the company in proportion to how they help develop the company. Based on performance. Based on performance was, I think, very, very key to, uh, the, to the, whole, the whole concept of, mm -hmm. uh, of building SAIC. Um, a little bit, every year we went through a planning process. There was an annual planning process. There was an process. annual planning process. And a reorganization process. Right. So it was... Idell's job to to put this jigsaw puzzle together and reorganize the company, help me reorganize the company every year so that we had people all grouped together who were interested in the same thing. And serve the same customers. Serve the same customers. So this went on every year. Uh, get, given that, one of the other mantras that, that we all had was to be close to the customer. Close to the customer meant two things. One, one that you knew what the customer wanted and you were in communication with them, and as much as possible, the key people would be in Washington mm -hmm. or near the customer. Near the customer. And also, uh, I think another culture well. at SAIC was that if a program did get in trouble, then that would get Bob's attention. Yes, and uh, and, and the customer <laughs> was right. So you know, we we would uh, Bob usually, would make sure usually. make sure that we did what was necessary in order to be sure that we ended that, that, up. With that was a, a short uh, string. <laughs> right, that was one of the short strings. <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure that you that you were responsive to the customer's needs. Talk a little bit about your personal role uh, in the selection process. How did you select people, uh, and how did you recruit them to join you in this venture? We we hired uh, in the early days. We hired people we knew. We knew they were they were triple threat people. Um, they they could sell, they could perform, and they could manage. Uh, many folks thought, well, this may not last. We're taking a big risk. Uh, the younger ones. Uh, didn't mind that because risk and reward are tied in together, and it was sort of a was an interesting experiment for them. And they worked hard. Uh, most people, entrepreneurs that we talked to, like the idea of being in their own company. And I beat that argument up very strongly. This is your company. We want you to manage, help us manage it. I want you to complain if there's something the matter. I uh, hope you'll be patient, but we're counting on you to to help this company succeed. Now, as part of that, you 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 stayed in the book, and I'll I'll read. So I'm not. This, these are not my words. These are yours. That you were a demanding CEO uh, who gave freedom and autonomy, but expected results and const constantly monitored performance metrics. But you were the catalyst behind the organization. So tell us a little bit about your concept of freedom, but with strings. Uh, people had a lot of freedom, but they also had to follow all the rules. That's what I mean by strings. 